Hi there. Um, in this tutorial, you've probably come across it because you're interested in learning about what a custom GPT is and how to go about creating one. Well, recently I went and tried to build my own. It's a very easy and quick process with ChatGPT if you haven't tried it before. Um, it's something I encourage you to give a shot. Um, the hardest thing is going to be training your GPT, essentially uh, teaching it the context of what you want it to do. Um, so personally, many of you that know me, I've been running for charities over the last few years. Um, the last couple of years I've run on behalf of St. Jude, and I've run, raised quite a bit of money and awareness for a great cause. Um, this year, I'm changing up my charity a little bit. I'm going to actually run for the World Wildlife Fund. I'm focused on training for the New York City Marathon. And because I'm focused on training um, for the New York City Marathon and I've been running so much over the last few years, I thought I would take this opportunity to actually go ahead and build myself a custom GPT called Run Buddy um, or build a custom GPT based on running. The name that I've come up with called Run Buddy um, was a collaboration between me and ChatGPT. So let me just talk a little bit about the benefit here. The benefit is you're creating a chatbot essentially that knows and has awareness of the context right from the start to give users that custom personalized experience of what it is the bot is intended to do. Um, benefit again is you can publish this, make it available to anybody else out there who also might have a similar interest and can benefit from your GPT. Now you can use the GPT model um, and engine, um, but additionally, while you're creating one, you can also provide it information to further train it. So that's another takeaway. We're not going to do all of that in this video. I'm going to keep it fairly short and just show you where to go, how to get it started, and then show you mine that I created. Um, and what I was hoping for when I created mine was for it to give me feedback um, about my training runs and encouragement, basically. Um, so I kept it kind of simple. Um, I will continue to train and evolve it, but I found myself asking insights from ChatGPT over the last couple of weeks, tell me about how I'm doing with my run. So in my conversations, I decided to use that um, thought process in creating my custom GPT. So, so what we do is once you're logged into ChatGPT, you can see that there's an option to explore GPTs over on the left. And when you click on that option um, to explore GPTs, what you'll see there is a listing of other GPTs that folks have created um, that have been published that you can choose from and find. Now, if you're interested in creating your own when you're logged in, you should see this option in the far right called create and choose that option create there and what that's going to do is take you into the GPT builder okay the GPT builder is where you're now going to have a conversation with chat GPT of what you're expecting this custom GPT to do okay so it's going to ask you a series of questions that you're going to give answers to and based upon your answers it's going to first start out by formulating a name for your GPT okay and then the second thing it's going to do is actually go ahead and ask you about an image that you want to be your icon. You could upload one or it will create one for you for this GPT. So in doing that, that's your first two steps. Your next step is going to be help providing its context and training it for what this GPT's intentions to do. Now, based upon your initial descriptions, it's going to have some ideas of what you want it to do. Now this is gonna be that back and forth tuning process, okay? You're going to take some time, you're going to refine it. It took me several times to get it to do exactly what I wanted to do and that was basically ask an individual to give an image of their most recent training run that they wanted to evaluate. That was my main goal of my GPT. So it took me some time to get it to do that. Um, essentially, it's pretty easy to walk through while you're creating it. It's going to give you a preview to the side, and then you can start by um, trying it out and demoing it over there. You can go to the configuration. You'll see that your icon will be there here with this little plus symbol. You can change it to upload a picture if you want. Uh, you can 
override the name, you can override the description instructions, but that gets all built up as you are conversing um, in the create dialogue, okay? Um, so what I'll do is show you that um, and by going back to mine. Um, so if we, um, one thing before I do that though is you got these also ability to create new actions and here you can actually create a custom action to behave outside of chat B GPT um, and give it an open AI schema set. So, um, so here this to me is a little bit more of an advanced capability, so I actually won't get into that in this short tutorial, but we can cover that in a future one. Um, but you should know that's available because this is how you're gonna further extend it and tune it to be even more specific. So let's take a look at mine. Um, here in Run Buddy, you'll see that if I click on it and launch it, this should be available in the Explorer GPTs. It may not be indexed yet, but what I have here, um, what I'll do is I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. But what I have there is when Run Buddy gets launched, is it's asking a bunch of questions essentially um, to kind of get you started um, in the body there. So you may not be able to see it yet. Let me scroll down a bit and you'll see that it's asking. Can you evaluate my run today? How can I improve my speed? So these are things that I allowed it to do um, in the configuration as kind of your starting place. Um, since I built it, I can drop down on this arrow and click edit GPT. Um, and when I go back and edit, it's gonna ask me like what I wanna do to improve it. But I'll show you configuration here is all filled in, right? With that conversation starters. So that was what you saw on the main screen there. Um, and all. You see that I have this published for everyone, so it's public. Uh, when you go out to the sharing abilities, that's when you're publishing it. This is how you make it available to yourself only, um, anyone with the link that you might give it to to check out and to try, or you can just publish it to the GPT store um, and everybody can find it there. Um, additionally, it's going to ask you what category it belongs to. Since mine's about running, um, I have mine category to the lifestyle. Okay, so that's all the additional stuff you would do once you've got it tuned and all. So mine's been fully tuned to what I like now. I'll further evolve it later, um, but it took me some time to get it to where I wanted it. So we'll go back to it. And what I'll do here is um, actually, sorry, go back into it, go back a couple screens. And I wanted to evaluate my run today. That was my goal. So if I click on that conversation starter it saves the individual from having to type it up themselves so it's going to say hey to evaluate your run today tell me a little bit more information so the big thing that i wanted to do is for my users to just give me an upload of the picture from whatever app i use to track my run some people might be using um, the apple fitness watch perhaps in the fitness app in apple um, I use that, some use Strava, others might be using Map My Run, for instance. Um, additionally, what I found was the more context aware you make it, as far as providing demographical information, like your age, your gender, your height and weight, um, and any information related to that, you're going to get a more insightful response. But let me show you. Um, so if I click the upload here, and I pick an image from my run from a little bit earlier today, you're going to see that image gets loaded in, but I'm not going to give it that demo info yet. I'm going to basically let it upload and then see what RunBuddy additionally prompts me to do. Okay. It says, hey, you've had a great run. It's going to be a coach approach to this. Okay. Um, it's evaluating. So it's pretty cool that it can take that image and break it down and tell me things and ask me additional information. So here you'll see, okay, well, hey, you didn't tell me your age, gender, height, and weight. I asked you for that, but you didn't tell it to me. So can you tell me that additional information? And I will now tell it that I'm age is 46, height five foot nine, weight 202. And uh, we'll get that back on the screen there so you can see it, um, the weight. And then I will additionally um, tell it that I'm, um, mail okay and then put that in and then run buddy is going to give me back some more personalized information we'll continue this dialogue but it's already all context aware it knows what i wanted it to do so this custom gpt really is going to be ideal for me as i continue training 
over the next several months getting ready for the New York City Marathon um, and providing me ideas and thoughts to help me improve my running performance and be my own personalized running coach. Um, I'll continue to tune this, share it with others, but that's all that I wanted to share here in this video. Hopefully you found this helpful and useful. Um, I will share some links in the video comments below about my fundraiser for the World Wildlife Fund in case anybody would like to contribute. I'd be more than uh, help, happy if you do. Um, also, if you want to check out my Run Buddy Custom GPT, that link will be there too. Um, and again, shameless little plug, I've taught my GPT to do exactly that and promote it um, while it's interacting with um, in individuals and such. So. Again, hope you found this helpful. Hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, looking forward to your comments below. Thanks all.